shoots these meatballs up and makes this column of dirt. What's up everybody, Llama King here, and I'm playing Hydraneer. Yeah, it's one of these um, kind of like Astroneer. There's oh man, there's so many near games now. There's Stationeer. There's probably more than just those three, I'm sure. But um, this is this game's been out for a little while now, a few months. It's still in development. There's still a lot of bugs and stuff, but it, it's a fun game. Uh, I think it was like nine bucks on Steam. So if you guys like what you see, check it out. But uh, I've already played quite a bit, and I thought I'd just do a quick video. Uh, showing you what I've got, just some gameplay, and if you guys like it, let me know, and I'll start a fresh new save right from the very beginning. But I am already on what they call the most expensive plot. It's right near the lake here, as you can see, and I have quite a bit built already, and I have a very simple but effective mine set up here. What I've noticed a lot of guys doing is they'll have this huge elaborate setup, conveyors everywhere going way up in the air, dropping down into uh, harvesters, which these are the harvester. This is a harvester here. I have one harvester. And look, I have one, two, three, and uh, three ram drills all going directly into the harvester. No conveyors, no nothing. They literally just spit right into the harvester. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. And uh, all you got to do is put one clump of dirt underneath. And it doesn't matter where you take it. You can take it from the very bottom of the mine, uh, of the ground, where all the big gold is. And as soon as you bring it up here, it doesn't matter. It takes it from this level, and it, sh and it thinks it's top-level dirt. So you get top-level gold, which are tiny, tiny nuggets. But the setup I have, you get so much going in at a time that it actually works pretty good. Then I have, I wanted to test out these Goliath drills. These Goliath drills are most effective down at the bottom. And in a later video, I'm going to try something really neat with these new things that just came out, which are called Davids. I have one way down there. See it right there? It's called a David. It literally shoots dirt up in like these big meatballs and makes it go under the drill so you don't have to sit here and constantly feed dirt under the drill and I have another one down under here right and so these just keep constantly working and those Davids way down there as you can see here these things uh, just keep pumping dirt up a huge column right up underneath the drill right so what I want to eventually try is I want to take these Goliath drills right down the very very bottom which I have already reached the bottom with my big mining uh, dozer here. This thing is a nightmare to use. A nightmare. You'll see in upcoming videos I'll be using this thing. But it's a nightmare. And uh, in Hydraneer, uh, fuel is water. And you literally just got to fill this tank up with water. Here's the water gauge. And uh, everything runs on water in this game. That's basically why it's called Hydraneer. Right? But anyway, so I went way here and I wanted to dig down all the way to the bottom here as you can see I got down to the bottom here's the bottom this is where all the big gold is but if I take a clump of dirt from here and bring it up to the top and stick it underneath my ram drill it, it's now considered top level dirt so you will not get the big nuggets there's my pickaxe Boop. and uh, well, when you pickaxe stuff it just it disappears so my thought was since I'm collecting tons of gold and iron and clautium, which is a new resource, which we'll get all we'll get into all that stuff. But um, what I do is, uh, you know, I get small gold nuggets, which also means I get small gems, right? Jewels, sorry, jewels. But if I take my truck, come down here, and I dig bottom level dirt, fill up the the um, reservoir with it. And then I can't drive it back up here, so you just literally go to unstuck, and it just brings you right back out here. So this is where the truck would spawn. And then I just literally drive up here, which I am going to build a conveyor, so I can just spit it right onto a conveyor. But what I've been doing is I've just been spitting the rocks out, as you can see, like this. I've just been spitting the rocks out, and then taking those and dropping them manually <laughs> into the harvester, and I get some nice big honking ge gems like this. Right? Those are already cut. They look like... Ah. Ah, uh, I gotta fix this. They look like little tiny, uh, eh, 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 there we go. They look like this. They look like little tiny things, see? 
if I drop my pickaxe here and pick one of these up, they're just... Whoops, I already had one picked up. See, they're just tiny. See how tiny they are? But at the bottom, they're freaking massive, right? So that's what I've been doing just for the jewels. But eventually, I will get a whole mining setup, mining setup, setup <laughs> down at the bottom so I can get the big gold nuggets and stuff. Uh, bigger nug bigger gold nuggets, bigger iron nuggets, and bigger shards are down there. Shards are in here. These are, are basically your power, your batteries. These, uh, I got a whole bunch. I don't know if it's, um, they haven't fixed it. If it's a, what's this? Is this dirt or cloudium? It is cloudium. What is, I just keep finding cloudium, sp little nuggets spread out all over the place. Every once in a while, I just come across one little random nugget. I don't know why. But, uh, so yeah, I figured this out. Hold down E. Boop. And it holds it out, like farther out. So you can literally just drop it down. Did that even go in there? It didn't. <laughs> e, hold down E, there we go, and you can just kind of boop, right into the furnace. What do we got here? Well, how much? How much? What is this way? Oh, I already got a clothing bar on there. Nice, because I've been doing the blueprints and everything. Like, I haven't put much time into this game, and I'm already in the end game. I've got all the blueprints done, except the blunderbuss. I'm working on, that's like the last thing. And then you can unlock pipes and bunch of other stuff if you have no idea what i'm talking about don't worry we'll get into all that stuff um but anyway i wanted to check out this new bar what's this new bar weigh put it on my scale here and it weighs 1977 that's that's a good weight actually this stuff is pretty rare pretty darn rare hard to find the saw you can literally cut bars in half there now those are two equal bars right there's a reason why you want to cut bars in half. You'll you'll learn all that in future videos. This magnet picks up basically anything, even excuse me, even dirt chunks, as you can see. So you can just pick up a whole clump of shit and move it. But if you move too fast, it all just falls apart. Wait, did they fix that? <gasps> they fixed it. Nice! Before, if you move too quick, it, it all just exploded and dropped. Nice! Now I can just carry it. And it just follows me like a puppy. Nice! Drop. Just let go. Nice. Alright. Good stuff. So let's drop this magnet. So, you probably want to see this thing running, don't ya? Oh, we got some big nuggies here. That must have been from when I brought dirt in from the bottom. Uh, that's gold. This is iron. Hold E. Drop it in. All right. Sizzle. And drop it in. There we go. All right. So let's turn this bitch on. Run around here. Oh, okay. I do. Things break eventually. And uh, this is a spanner. I picked it up because I, I was like, is this just a one-time use? And it is. It literally, you can fix something once with it. These, I think, have like five uses or something. It says multiple uses. I don't know if it's like five uses and that's it, or if it has like, you know, like it, it's at a hundred percent when it's full. And if this, if this is not completely a hundred percent broken and only 50%, does it only use 50% out of the bed? I, I don't know. But anyway, these are where the batteries go. And like I was saying earlier, I think it's glitched or they haven't put it into the game yet, but these, these never deteriorate. I haven't, I haven't touched these. They don't get smaller. It's just unlimited power. I, I, I don't know. Like I, I, I'm sure they're supposed to deteriorate over time. Like that one, I, I think, I don't think, like I think that one is small. I put that one, you know what? Just cut this whole part out. Nope. So yeah, this is a pressure gauge. And I have, uh, right now it's at 50% pressure it seems. Does that go up when I turn it on? Let's see. It does. That's, I think that's like full pressure, right? So I have five filters that filters the water and they do i think 20 percent each or something like that yeah i have them locked in so that means uh the water that gets filtered i have clean water coming through my pipe so none of the junk water comes through here and breaks my shit right and these are my sorters i'll explain everything after in future videos but for now i just wanted to get the first video out make sure all my levels are good i haven't recorded on my computer with all my setup and recording setup and my microphone in a while so I just wanted to make sure everything was working good 
Uh, so let me know in the comments how everything's working. Uh, is my audio raping your ears? Um, is my mic too high, too low? Let me know, all right? And uh, we can we can grow together. Anyway, so I got this all set up, all running, but the drills aren't running. Conveyors are all running perfectly fine. Good. All right, nothing on the belts. Good. So I need to build stairs, but for now I just hop right up here. Somehow. There we go. Now I want to turn these ram drills on, but I don't want them all working together because they're spitting right. Actually, let's let's drop some of this crap in here first. Okay, so I got it cleaned up a little bit. So now I'm going to turn this one on, then turn this one on, and then I want to time it so that this one is offset from the other two. So bang, wait, okay, dang. Boom, bang, there we go. They're all offset, so they don't clog up the harvester. And this is this is literally the easiest setup I could come up with. No conveyors, no nothing, these things are just spitting straight into the harvester. And then the harvester spits out all the good stuff right onto the conveyor. See? As you can see. Every once in a while I do have some spillover, some spillage, but I think the spillage is from the Goliath drills. And we'll see that working in a second. So that's working good, and as you can see, I don't think I'm getting any spillage from these. This is all from the Goliath drills, which is, you know, it's okay. Once in a while, I get a little bit of spillover. That's fine with me. I, it's easily cleaned up. Now, come over here, jump up here, jump on top of here so I can watch these guys. So turn these things are slow. These things don't make any sense up top here, I know. They don't make really any sense up top. I could put ram drills in here and they would actually spit out more than these would. These are for getting the big gold at the bottom. I just wanted to try them out. And with the new uh, David, which feeds these things dirt. So let's turn this one on. The light should come on. Good. Wait a couple of seconds so that these, ends up, these end up being offset. Uh, just jump down. Then turn this one on. Now watch how long they take. So see, they drill from the bottom here. Let's, t let's move this box so you can see better. See, so if I crouch, oh, but there's a drill there, and way down here at the bottom is the little David, and he shoots these meatballs up and makes this column of dirt. So this thing is always get this thing always gets fed with dirt. See, it just took a chunk, spit it out, and now it's going to lower the drill, lowered the drill back onto the next meatball. This, yeah, that one just spat out, and it's going to drill down. As you can see. And these things will actually go all the way. These these um these drills here, they will they will stretch out. They're on a telescopic pole, and they will drill all the way down to the bottom, right down to here, and then they'll stop. And then uh, before you would either had to feed dirt under it or move the drill, and then it would drill straight down until it would reach the bottom and stop. Now with these Davids, Hello. they just keep shooting dirt up, and it doesn't matter if that because these are taking them down here because the dirt's getting shot up and the drill is taking it from the top layer as you can see this is considered top layer dirt you get it you got it good all right so everything's working good here i'm making bank everything's getting spit into their proper things these sorters are sorting them out look spits out a shard gold goes through or, or iron goes through gets spit out here gold goes through gets spit out there then i have this back sorter here this last sorter is set on dirt. Why? Because every once in a while, a piece of dirt will fall onto the conveyor, come through, and then it would end up in my clautium. And that would screw everything up. So I put the dirt here, put that on dirt, so it spits out the dirt into this funnel and drops the chunks down into here. And as you can see, I've got some ore down there. Every once in a while, some ore goes gets loose. I don't know how, don't know why, but hey, it's realistic. In real life, nothing works perfectly. In real life, gold mines are constantly spilling over and you're constantly having to clean up. They, they hire guys just to be on the end of a shovel all day. Gold ore. Cleaning up crap like this, right? So it's, it's, it's realistic. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Probably not. Eventually, once they get all the bugs out, once you have a setup like this and everything's working perfectly, see how that got spit out there? That shouldn't have happened. But it did. Which, But it's, it's realistic, right? So let's pick these up and stick them in. There we go. All right, so once this runs for a bit, you got it. Aha! See? Now I gotta repair this thing. It's broken. Gotta repair it. Pick this up and go boop, boop, boop. 
There, now she's full. There is a magnifying glass you can buy, which I haven't bought yet, which I don't know why. I have tons of money. Um, and you can just scroll over these things, and it tells you what the uh, what their health is at. And I think once they get down to maybe 50%, they start to spark and stuff, saying that, hey, we need repair. And every once in a while, you'll find seed bags dug in the, um, under the ground, and you can plant them. Okay, I have 98,000 sitting right here, and I think I have money sitting uh, in the buckets in the stores. But yeah, anyway, so I have this set to dirt. So the dirt gets spit out, and then cloudium gets spit out the end here. And then all you gotta do with these auto smelters is click on it, and it spits out a bar. And as you can see, I only have a little tiny bar. Cloudium is rare. Take, wait, hey, what's going on here? Oh, oh. How? Oh my gosh. Is that... Are those jewels? Uncut? What the heck? How did... How did jewels get in here? Okay, that's not good. If you have stuff in your furnaces, I don't think they work properly. So I don't know if, like, any cloudium's been dropping in here, but it hasn't been smelting because those jewels were in there? I don't know, but let's put that bar back in, and then it should show, like, a puddle of cloudium in there. Oh, look. Cloudium must have just went in. Drop that bar in there. Okay, that seems to be working out. How those got through, I don't know, because the very first sorter is the gems. Or jewels. This thing here. See, like, there's little nuggets everywhere. That's, that's, that's for another day. Clean up. Every once in a while I just shut everything off and I clean everything up. There's no point in keeping, keep cleaning everything up all the time, because that's all you'll be doing is cleaning up. Let's put this back so I don't fall down that hole. But yeah, do you see? I see. See how that's going down? Further and further down? There. It's dropping down. Eating up the next meatball. Those things will keep the dirt flying. That's good. And as as that goes down, like if it once it gets down here, it, that will be considered that level dirt. That that level dirt down there has bigger gold in it than top level dirt. You see? So the farther down that goes, the bigger gold you'll get. I, I I'm pretty sure anyway. That's how it works. I don't know. We'll see. See? That's going down too. So that's good. Everything's working good. And then, like I said, all you gotta do... Let's get that out of there. So, like I said, all you gotta do is, with these auto smelters, click on it and boom, you get a bar. Spat out. <laughs> Store that there. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with all those. I guess I could melt those all down into one massive bar. I don't know. We'll see. And then the iron and the gold, but I like keeping those. I like getting massive bars. Like, what's this bar weigh? What's it worth? I assume it's a massive bar, because I like making massive bars. That's not a massive bar. It's only worth twenty-one thousand dollars. <laughs> it's actually a pretty big bar, but uh, it's not very hard to make money in this game at all. I don't know if it's broken, the economy's broken, or what, but it's just it's too easy to make money. And before you know it, you have more money than what you know what to do with, and you have everything. And then you're sitting here going, "Okay, well, I guess the next step is to just build a bigger, better mine and just <laughs> have fun building the most stupidest." biggest stupid thing you can I guess I uh, built some candlesticks for that was for the quest these quests here I will show you all that in another episode but like I said I just wanted to get a quick episode out of Hydroneer a game that I actually enjoy playing it is fun uh, check it out it's on Steam for I think for like nine dollars and fifty cents or just under ten bucks uh, it's worth it and like I said, it's still a game in development, but as time goes on, it'll get better and better. Yeah. All right. So, anyway, if you like that, leave a like. Uh, if you guys want to see more and you don't want to miss anything, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell and all that good stuff. Blah, blah, blah. I think I'm supposed to say this stuff at the beginning of the video like other YouTubers do. Right? Aren't I? So that, you know, because like half of you probably aren't even still watching this video anymore. You probably stopped watching after three minutes. So, everything I'm saying right now is... For nothing, because no one's hearing it. How many of you guys are still left? Leaving the, I'm going to give you a secret word. The secret word is Panzerati. Anybody still watching the video at this point? Put Panzerati in the comments, and I'll know that you watched it right to the end. Okay, okay. Anyway, get out there and have fun. Keep calm and lamon.